¿Quieres su yogur? What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be doing uh, 24 hours with a toddler and a newborn baby. You just saw a little snippet of what we like to do at the very beginning. I change Franco's diaper, do a little things, brush his teeth. Then he goes and says hi to his baby sister and his mom. He stays there while I do my little bit of morning routine, like my brush my teeth and put deodorant on and stuff. And then he starts his chores, guys. We always have this joke that we hope that he likes his chores as much as he does now when he's like 15 his chores consist of feeding all of our animals Lastly, he feeds the dogs, but they ate pretty late last night, so we're not gonna feed them till a little bit later, and they're still upstairs with his aunt, so. But right now, guys, Franco's gonna play with his toys or either watch a little bit of TV while I get started on some work. Right now, it's Friday, so the podcast went up, so I just gotta do a little bit of marketing, post it on Instagram, and maybe post some reels, so let me get to that really quick. How to keep the romantic spark alive while having babies. Well, we're two weeks in, guys, so we can't really... There ain't no romance right now, girl, except for the they couple. Have... Okay, just wrapped up a little bit of work. Go check out our latest podcast, our traumatic birth story. Blanca goes into depth about all the details of how labor and delivery went. To keep long story short, she did not have the best experience. Not a good experience at all. I'll leave you to it to go check out the podcast so you can see what that is about. Now I have to go and catch this little boy. All right, guys, it is currently 8.55 a.m. And usually I would let Blanca and Belen sleep a little bit longer, but Franco and I were thinking we go get breakfast. Yay! So you have two options, babe. We either bring Chick-fil-A breakfast here or we go eat at La Peep. Oh my god! 
<laughs> what the heck is going on? She won't stop pooping. Really? Babe, I told you. She doesn't fuss when she has food. Mm -hmm. She fusses when she has to poop. Look, she won't stop. All right, guys, good morning. I couldn't talk this morning because I was so tired. I had to freshen up, wash my face, take my overnight curls out. They came out so good. It is about 9 a.m. This is the time that we wake up. Oh, she's hungry. It's about the time that we wake up every day. So I'm going to feed her and then we're going to head downstairs and get the day started. ¿Quieres agarrar la bebé? Sí. Ok, ahí te va. ¿Cómo es? ¿Listo? Está. Oh, mira, mira. ¿Qué es? Aquí está. ¿Su boca? Cuerito. ¿Cuerito? ¿Y se le cayó? Ah, ¿no? eh, mira. My mom has been making us breakfast every single day since I gave birth. She's taking such good care of me. If you know, you know. Bananas, mi amor. She just made Franco banana oat milk pancakes. ¿Te gustaron tus pancakes? ¿Y qué estás tomando? Un shake. But yeah, I'll show you guys what I'm eating postpartum. El tiro se nos olvidó que ahora es Viernes Santo. Así que si vamos a Lupeep, ahí tienen un montón de sausage, de bacon, y no quería caer en la tentación. Así que I told Blanca, I was like, let's just get Chick-fil-A, babe, because, you know, there's too much temptation at breakfast uh, restaurants. I'm back, but the cold brew machine was broken at Chick-fil-A, so I had to get them all juices. I don't think they're going to be too happy. Hola, niño. Spider-Man. <laughs> Here is my breakfast. It's just tortillas con tomate y queso. That's what I've been eating every day since I got home from the hospital. It's so good. It's my favorite thing ever. Belen is in her swing. So Belen was super hungry. I took a little break from having breakfast. And now Franco and Dad are done having breakfast. And they're just chilling. <laughs> Ya está bien despierta mi mamá. Ya está bien despierta. My mom and I are now having breakfast. She's having her Chick fil A. And I had my tortitas, but now I'm having my French toast with Nutella and strawberries and whipped cream, of course. Wow. And que nunca falte el arroz con leche. Alright guys, I am finishing up getting ready for the day and everyone knows that finding a t-shirt can be such a challenge. I know that I struggle finding the perfect one, whether it's the quality or the fit of the t-shirt. But luckily now I found the perfect one and they are from Skims. From crop silhouettes to long sleeve styling tees, there is a style for everyone. You guys know I've been wearing Skims for over a year now and I absolutely love them. But now I've just recently tried their t-shirts and I have this long sleeve on right now. And it fits perfect and it makes me feel so confident now that I'm postpartum. My cotton jersey t-shirt is a staple for me i reach for it every single day and i have it in multiple colors because i wear it so often the fit is perfect it is so soft and it snatches me at the waist which is what i need postpartum and of course since i wear it so often i wash it a lot and it does not lose the quality and what i love most is that since it is cropped i can just 
flip it over and nurse with no struggles. Another one that I reach for every day and I alternate with is this t-shirt. It is absolutely perfect. And since I do get hot flashes postpartum and breastfeeding, I do like to wear it on warmer days. Here's what this one looks like. It is so soft and if you know me, I love oversized. So I got this in a size large. I don't feel hot in it. It's so smooth. It's stretchy. And again, I've watched it millions of times and it doesn't lose its quality. I just want to show you guys how stretchy they are. They hug your body. They're form fitting and they are so comfortable. I absolutely 10 out of 10 recommend. You guys can click the link in the description box to check out the Skims t-shirt shop that is now available from sizes extra extra small to 4X. And if you haven't yet, please let them know that we sent you. After you place your order, select YouTube from the survey and select our channel JJ Vlogs on the drop down menu. I hope that you guys love them. We are entering spring and summer and these are just a perfect staple to add to your closet. what's up guys it's a little bit later now as you can see we're all changed up but unfortunately we're gonna split and go different ways we're about to head out franco is knocked out he's down for his nap he'll wake up probably here in the next hour and then we'll probably be back soon i'm not gonna take too long out there because mom guilt here's franco's pañalera already with the snacks and then here's mama girl this is all her stuff and the snack for me we have a reusable bag and we're ready to go. Siempre con algodones. All right, guys, it's a little bit later. Franco is up from his nap, and I think on the agenda is to go get some food, but also I have a little problem. Do you see how my fish tank is green already? Ever since we've gotten this fish tank, I probably cleaned it once a week, and I'm no fish expert, but I think cleaning your tank once a week is not normal. So I think something's wrong. I've tried different filters. I've had a five gallon filter. I believe this is a five gallon. So I've had, this is a five gallon filter, but I've also had a 20 gallon filter to kind of be like a little bit stronger. But then I noticed my fish was just like not arresting properly because the current was so strong in there. And I've tried incorporating uh, the algae balls and now the snail and it's still like super dirty. So I don't know if it, that's normal or what. I'm gonna go talk to the Petco people. If not, just so I can try to find a solution. Maybe I need to get more algae balls. I need to get more snails or I don't know. I don't know. What's going on? I don't know if I told you what we ended up buying. We ended up buying three shrimp and another snail. We bought another little snail because apparently the snail we bought a long time ago doesn't eat algae and this little black one does. And then we bought three shrimp. They're like 99 cents. Apparently they also help clean the tank. And she's like, they're 99 cents just in case your betta fish uh, eats them. They were cheap, you know, and you can come and get more. But let's see if you can see them because they're kind of transparent. So I think that's the snail right there. That's a little black snail. And then the shrimp, they're already going to work, I think, because I can't see them. They're probably gonna go in the pineapple because they love to hide or the shark oh yeah they're yeah they're already in there right there so hopefully with those new additions to the family the tank gets a little cleaner guys see your basket girl yeah. actually these are mine but what are you doing my amor the gallo is this the gallo la leche y la galleta Guys, so we made it home. It's almost 9 p.m. I was just playing with Franco. I did two activities with him. I did a puzzle, like head, heads and tails matching puzzle with animals. And then I actually bought him a sketch pad so that he could start drawing more because that's usually what he likes to do. So I got him two of these. He's playing with one already. And that's what we were doing. Ya tenía ganas de cenar, quería un vasito de leche. So that's what he's doing. He just made a little bit of a mess. Gracias. Gracias por limpiar tu boca. Mm. Okay, guys, let me show you the things that I use for Franco. So this is what came in the mail today. It's just a heads and tails, 15 self-correcting puzzle sets, and it has a bunch of animals. And he is obsessed with animals. Anything animals, he will use and play with. And then another thing that came in today was the sketchbook. I had bought 
this for him. I'm gonna have all of this linked in the description box if you guys wanna purchase it, but I had bought this dot marker set for him. I came with like 10 of these little papers and he used all of them up in two days. So I decided to get him a sketch pad so that he could start coloring. But the dot marker set actually comes with downloadable, printable animal pictures so that they can paint. So I'm, I just need to print those, but our printer's at the office, so it takes me a while to go over there. But basically, this is what he drew today. I helped him draw some animals. We just kind of draw him what he asks us for and he gets so entertained watching us draw. This is really nice for him. And then also have some ultra clean washable markers. If you know, you know, we have been using this table that Lulu gifted him for his birthday. And he draws on this with markers, pencils, anything. And it is wipe. Like you could take a little wet wipe and it comes right off. So this is perfect for kids too. I'll have it linked down below as well. But basically, let me show you how our living room looks at the end of the day. You will have a dad with a daughter watching TikTok. And then this is the beautiful chaos that we're left with at the end of the day all the animals all the diaper bags all the burp cloths the stuffed animals the shoes but basically i'm always looking for something for franco to do because this boy needs activities and he will play outside with jonathan for like an hour but i i need things to do when he's inside and before his bedtime because although the sun goes down at like 6 37 we still have those Oh shoot, we still have those like two hours or so where we need to like keep him entertained and I try to only let him watch TV in the morning and if anything, just movies like soft, low, calm movies. So yeah, I'm gonna put this away for when he finishes that one over there. And then I didn't open this for him today, but he actually just recently on Sunday discovered Play-Doh because Isaac, his tío, um, bought him some and you will not believe how long he plays with Play-Doh for. So he just plays with it by himself normally but i got him a bunch of like little cutouts like play-doh cutouts that he can use animals of course so we're gonna take that out for him tomorrow so that he can play with it when he has more energy and then i also went online and i bought this so i actually bought this for noemi and for penny girl so i this is our monitor tell me why it was from 180 down to 100 dollars. it was on sale on amazon yesterday so i bought two one for penny and one for us and we're excited to get our hands on this because the one that we have we've had it for like over two years now and it has been dragged through the mud girl it's a little it needs a little help and then on amazon i also got baby girl some cute headbands look they're just like flower headbands that one little like i got all the aesthetic cute ones you know let's go try one on they're so cute let's do this one anyways shopping all day mm -hmm. she did so good today guys she looks gorgeous with her little headbands but she did amazing i'm honestly not used to a baby liking their stroller so i was genuinely shocked and i i have a haul going up for my youtube channel because i actually recorded the whole shopping spree for my channel but let me show you something i'm gonna give you a sneak peek because i bought something that i wanted when franco was little but i never like got my hands on it because he didn't really like being carried until he was like or being worn until he was one but i went into nordstrom and i found this baby bajorn baby carrier soft jersey and it is from newborn to 25 pounds so from 7 to 25 pounds and belen is like 7 and well i think she's already 8 pounds i'm not really sure i bought it and i used it at the mall today and she loved it i loved it it's so soft it's so cozy it's perfect and it is so easy to put on let me show you literally you put it on like a backpack 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 this so you put this on like backpack you put this on and all you're gonna do is literally click yourself into it so it's kind of like a car seat it has these like side ones a baby carrier and just like that when you they're in it you can either put the head support or no i'm just going like this for newborns yeah and look at how easy it is to take off it's like a car seat kind of but yeah this was one of the best purchases today it was well worth the money okay. i have a lot 
Look, it goes in all the way. Newborn facing in, facing out. Oh, how much? 120? 109 not too bad the one that I have for Franco the one that he loved and that I thrifted was $54 and it's usually like 180 I'm glad that he got good use of that last year But she is too little for that one because it's more of like a bigger baby carrier But that is one of the best purchases I did today and then anything else you can see on my youtube channel now that I spent some time with baby girl I'm gonna go ahead and start my nighttime routine. I'm gonna go shower bubs We recently made the transition from the little by we he means me. I mean, he means him. Say that, honey. I made the transition from the little baby bathtub to the big Dina. Because when you're like, I'm going to teach him how to swim. Or not swim, but not to not be scared of the water. So we practice him putting his face in there and just floating. So He's been drinking a lot fun. of <laughs> <Yeah>. water. <laughs> so yeah, this is where our night routine starts. And this is when it gets good, guys. Actually, not really. But we'll show you guys what happens. Bath time was a wrap. Now time to go finish the night. Papa, yours, mama. Franco, Mami. ¿quieres que te duerma mamá o papá? Mam papá. No, yo te duermo. No, papá. ¿De veras? ¿Me vas a quebrar mi corazón? No, papá. Well, usually I've been doing his night, like his bedtime. I put him down to sleep because I usually sit here and cry. <laughs> but he doesn't like, he doesn't want me to vent today. Ah. En la granja de Franco. Oh. Oye, ¿quién te compró este pijama? No, mamá. Padre, hijo, Espíritu Santo. Presioname a mí. Padre, hijo, Espíritu Santo. Que okay, bye, mamá. Bye, mamá. ¿No quieres que te duerma yo? No. Now I'm gonna go cry by myself in my room. En la granja de Franco. You know what's funny guys every time we have a routine down we go to vlog it and it goes south because I always put Franco down to sleep always and he literally kicked me out today and decided that he wanted dad to put him down to sleep so that was pretty sad on my side but now while well, we've been incorporating now that her uh, umbilical cord fell off is bath time for princess girl if you guys know me I am not good with bathing babies when they're tiny and recién nacidos porque me da mucha cosa y mamá es una experta Okay, she has showered so many babies in her lifetime. Y listo. ¿Qué está haciendo? Pues haciéndole piojito para que se duerma. Y si se está durmiendo con su chupón. Ay, corazón hermoso. Alright guys, I'm ready for bed. I look like a crazy person. I'm gonna put my overnight curls on here in a bit. But guess what happened to us three days ago? No, like four days ago. Four days ago, our washer went out. So all of my pajamas are dirty. So I'm in sweats and an oversized shirt because we just got a new one in today. I think installed today or yesterday and we haven't washed yet. It's literally 10.30 p.m. And Jonathan just barely finished putting Franco down for bed. What happened to you? Not barely, like 20 minutes ago. Oh, really? Don't miss me? <laughs> Bruh. But honestly, guys, he was just in a chatty mood and then... What was he chatting about? Just the movies and animals and then... But also, I like... I kept at it because... You know when you like... You just have time. And I was like, I have time today. And there was times he wanted to doze off. He was like, okay, I'm done talking. And I'll be like... No, no, Franco, Franco, te acuerdas que la, and I was the one that wouldn't let him go to sleep. And then w right when I thought he was done, he got up and he started talking again. I was like, okay, okay. Like, I got, I had so much patience today. I was like, what? So next time he tried to go to sleep, I woke him up. I was like, pa, acuérdate que que comen los elefantes. <laughs> and then he'll be like, oh, hell, okay. And then, yeah, like the last time, I was like, okay, whatever. He dozed off? Yeah. Just talking? Mm -hmm. That is so fun. You you missed her bath, honey bunch. Her bath? Yeah. You showered her? Yeah, I smelled her. Oh, mama. It's why they shower you without me. Huh, I was telling them, I was like, every time we have a routine down, we're like, okay, let's vlog it. And then everything goes south. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Basically, now you guys will see our night routine. Well, Jonathan is going to go to bed. Wait, are you going to drink your tea? Jonathan's going to shower, get ready for bed, and then he will go to bed with Franco, and he'll wake up like around 7, 7, 7.30, 7.40. It depends. He went to bed really late today, so it depends. And then I go to bed with Miss Girl, and we usually fall asleep at 1 a.m., and then she 
wakes up at 5 a.m. and then we fall asleep again and then she wakes up at like 7.40 or 8 or 9. <laughs> Depends on how long um, Jonathan lets me sleep in for because she can sleep for a while. She actually, I have to wake her up to, go, to eat but it depends on what time we wake up in the morning but tomorrow's my sister's birthday so i don't know how i'm gonna do it but i need to get balloons here early so yeah you guys will see all of that because what time do we start vlogging at eight so 24 hours doesn't end till 8 a.m tomorrow it also sucked like today it was fun that you went your route and i did but usually franco and belen interact way more you know yeah. I feel like today they didn't, except in the morning. Mm -hmm. But he's always holding her. He's always asking to be with her. And, and he's always making cute faces. So I feel like today they missed each other. But after this vlog, we're going to start vlogging a lot more. Like, we're just going to pick up the vlog camera and vlog whatever the heck is going on. Because I know you guys love that. And we always try to make it, like, a good, like, morning routine, night routine, a day in our life. Like, with... A good concept but i think for now we can't really do that because we're literally parents to two kids right now and it's crazy so we're just gonna bring you guys along the real life of being a parent to a toddler and a newborn oh my gosh me and belen are literally matching oh cute girls i love you mama you guys, my mom todas las noches me hace arroz con leche, avena, atole, lo que le pida. Pero ahora estamos tan cansadas que ni ganas de nada, so. Hasta parece que andamos pedas. Ay, no, so ahora nomás me calentó un vasito Pero de que... leche. Y voy a comer con mis galletas. Y look, my mom bought some things today at the mall y, se lo, y lo está estrenando. De una vez, pues, ¿para qué? ¿Para qué me espero a bañarme? I'm so tired. I snuggled with Blanca a little bit in Berlin. I kissed him goodnight, and it's time for me to go on with Bubs. Bye, honey. Bye, Mama. I'll see you guys in the morning.